It's uh, been a minute since I've done one of these, but today I got a new boat. I ordered it all the way from Korea. I'm gonna do an unbox here. We're gonna open this thing up. We're gonna see what it looks like, check the quality, see if we like it, show you what's in the box, uh, show you what happens when you order a boat. And if it's any good, we might order a couple more and um, try to sell a few maybe, I don't know. But um, today we're gonna unbox it. We are going to have a good long look at it, go through it all, see what's in the box, and then um, we'll get it out in the water. Here we go. stuff it looks like when you get a boat but maybe some other cool stuff in here as well here's a seat it's like another seat some oars four and a half foot black oars these are pretty standard I think somebody makes these overseas because this is pretty much every single little inflatable boat that you're gonna buy is gonna have very similar oars to that Oh, we got a slider hard seat. We have a motor mount. I don't know who ever puts a motor on any of these. Oh, we got another seat here. So we got two seats. We got your standard repair kit. Your generic shitty foot pump that will last you not long. This is the boat. And the boat looks like it comes in a bag, which is kind of cool. Some type of knapsack of some sort. And here's the boat. 25 pounds, maybe? Here's the boat in the bag. Give you an idea of the size of it, weight. Maybe two and a half feet by foot and a half by foot, it packs down to. I don't know about this bag. Looks like a big suitcase, but at least it's something to put them in. I like the bags that Watermaster come with. They come really with like a really nice solid backpack bag. So that's out of the package right there. Some standard valves, some handles, some pretty standard handles. These are definitely an upgrade. The oar locks on this relative to some of the other boats. That's a definitely a better quality one. Good quality, nice size D-rings, better D-rings. So everything looks pretty good. I like the the thickness and the quality of it feels really good. And um, the seaming's a little bit interesting. You can see a little bit of the shine on the glue there. So I don't know, see what it looks like when we get this thing all blown up. Here's the pump and it actually does come with some adapters for, for those valves, which is nice. A lot of the pumps on these boats don't come with adapters. So that's the pump. Looks a little bit better than than some of the more generic pumps. Nice tight fit. So there it is, fully inflated. So it has a high rocker style on the front. Storage area in the back, which is nice. 
and then you can see that the seats are going to go in here and this is kind of interesting i haven't seen this before this style of footrest so this is obviously your feet are going to go here as the rest i'll show you that in a second but okay well there's the boat Here's the oars, seem a little short. You can upgrade these oars. Cavernous is the oars that you wanna use if you're gonna be doing a bunch of rowing on these, these type of smaller inflatable boats. So every single boat, more than likely, unless it hasn't upgraded, you're gonna get something like this. Fairly small diameter tube. This is a nice quality pin. It's all together here. Um, it's been blown up for 10 minutes. Here's my first few impressions of it, is I really like the size of it. I like the build of it. I like the how solid it is. I really like this seat system. I'm not 100% sure about this yet. Um, I think that will be a test when we actually row it. A little interested in the gluing here. You can see that this is the sort of the gleam off the glue. You can see it here. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I really like the, the back here. Nice, super solid. I have another boat that has one of these and it's not as solid as this. This is nice. Rain's gonna slide up. It's not gonna pool here. Uh, the quality, the D-rings are awesome. These are big D-rings. Um, you look at some of the smaller diameter D-rings that they put on these boats and they're definitely not as nice as this. And really nice <clears throat> motor mounts here as well. There you go. Cool. This was just a bit of a little project boat that I was interested in doing just to see if there was something else out on the market there that was a rocker style boat, that was affordable, that would be a good fishing boat uh, for river fishing here in BC, but also something that we could build into a build of a still water boat as well. So um, there you have it. That's the build. Um, next bit that you're going to see is this thing out there getting wet and getting rowed and... Um, give you an idea of how we like it handling on the water. Oh, she's good. Thanks, Brass. Wrapping up the first day of rowing this boat. I really, I like it. It's not crazy different from uh, some of the other boats I've rowed before. The rocker style is really nice. I think the, the rocker style, it's a larger rocker style than on the Skadden Assault. Feels super sturdy. It's easy to row. I would upgrade these oars. They're not, they're not the worst, but they're not the best. Um, the boat's light, very maneuverable easy to ferry. I walked it through some, some bush today, walked it through a couple log jams and a few things and easy to get up and move. The thing about these boats is they're really easy to make more complicated than they have to be. And if they roll well and they float and they're of good quality, that's kind of all you need. All the other stuff is sort of extras. I think it's about nine feet. I'll put all the specs down in the bottom. Very, very happy with it. And I like the, I like the way that it, that it rows for sure. But, only time will tell as they say. So with these boats, they're usually pretty good out of the box. What we're gonna do is put this thing through the ringer for the fall season and see how it holds up. You can see that, the, like I said, the components are good quality, but also all the all the seams on here are really nice. I've looked at enough boats now that I can sort of see when something's cheap. And this is definitely the, the seams on this boat, the D-rings, the oar locks, everything is, is really nice and I'm pleasantly surprised by these footrests here I, I was a little bit unsure of them most of the boats have 
<clears throat> a bar or a strap that goes across to put your feet. But this is actually a nice change and I really like it. Um, my feet haven't slipped off at all. And, uh, and it's been comfortable. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, drop us a like. You can subscribe, Chromer Sport Fishing. We do all kinds of videos like this. Boats, reviews, fly tying, fishing, trail cams, just general screwing around. And uh, if you're in the market for a boat and you're using this video as like maybe a, something you're just kind of checking out to see what's out there and what's good and what sucks, uh, drop a, leave me a comment, ask, ask me a question, I'm happy to answer. Um, I've been lucky, I've owned a whole bunch of these different types of boats, Watermasters, the Scaddens, this one, Air Rafts, um, and certainly not an expert, but I'm always happy to answer a few questions if you have them. So, anyways, thanks for checking it out, and um, be safe out there, wear your life jacket.